Okay, I've started recording. So, um, there are step by step to this um, to run and to configure your project on um, VS Code. So, there are different tools you can use. Um, you can use WebStorm, but for this training, we'll be making use of um, Visual Studio Code. So the first thing I'll be doing is create a project folder on my on my local on, on my laptop. So if I can go to my documents, um, I can create a folder called um, Sony Tech Cypress. Then take notes. Always avoid space when naming. You could use if an iPhone or a camera case. Um, uh, naming convention. So we always avoid space. So I've created the a project folder, which is the step one. Now the next step is to launch your Visual Studio Code. Um, this is mine. So when you launch your Visual Studio Code, click on File, go to um, Open, click on Open, then go to the directory or the location where you created your new projects. So in my own case, it's uh, inside document and um, summit text Cypress. So you can see um, the project folder here. Please, if you have questions, you can ask why we continue with the training. Okay, so um, we move. So now I've created a project folder on my documents and I've launched my VS code and I've opened it projects inside my VS Code, which is what you are seeing here. So now the next thing you need to do is open your terminal. So on Windows, um, I think you can also find it up here. So or um, I think down here too, but just click on your terminal, click on new terminal. It launches this. So what we want to do now is to um, is to create a package or JSON file, which is like a, a configurable file for our projects, and also to install Node.js. So the first command you are going to run here is npm init. So when you run this npm init, you hit enter. It start asking you for some details, which will be saved in your package or JSON. So the first thing is asking me is what's the package name. So I can call it, um, um, let's say, Konga um, Automation Tests. I hit enter. Oh, sorry. So you are not allowed to use space like I mentioned earlier. So I need to re-enter the name. Um, Konga Automation. You can give it your own name, Test. I hit enter. So next is asking me for, okay, another thing you can start with capital letter. Voila. Konga automation test. So this kind of case in naming convention. Oh, say so name can no longer contain capital letter. So I'm going to use an iPhone this time around. Konga automation so it's asking me for the version. I'll leave it like that. So when you want to leave anything blank or with what's already given, just press enter. Description, optional. Um, I can say end to end testing. Then the rest, index.js, I'll hit enter. Test command, enter. Git repository, we don't have one yet. I'll hit enter. Keywords. Um, I'll hit enter, auto, I'll put my name, um, Toby Fagbo, 
enter and license enter so is this okay i say yes so if you look at um, my project folder on vs code you can see that it has created a package or json file and if i open this file all those details you enter you see them here so even if you press enter 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 so you, you get to okay you can come here and open this and make changes if you want to so i can decide to make changes to what has been filled already so now we've initialized our npm to create our package or json file so the next thing is to install cypress i hope our internet is fast so this won't take long so to install your Cypress, this is the command um, npm install Cypress say dev. So I run it inside my terminal. So if you also do the same. Okay, so now I have um, Cypress installed. Um, so what I can do next is to open my Cypress I'm using this command. If you check the, um, the charts, I've sent all these commands I'm entering here for you guys in case you're trying to run it from your head. So I press it here and this should start with node. I hit enter. So this is just for you to confirm that your Cypress has been installed and it's launching on your machine. Yeah, so this is my project Summit Tech Cypress and you can see it has launched. Cool. So um, if you come here after launching, you see the Cypress folder and all the subfolders like features, integration, plugins, and supports. So Cypress usually comes with like um, um, a sample script, um, as you can see, advanced and get started example. In case you want to go through them for newbies. But in my own case, I'll be deleting them because I don't need the two files. Cool. So, um, uh, so the next thing now is to um, edit uh, Cypress just JSON file. So um, there are some commands like configurable commands you can add to your cypress your json file um, example is your base url um, your default timeouts page load timeouts um, your reporter but before we do this um, let's install um, a reporter a mutual reporter we can install the JUnit reporter so um, i come here And I run this command. Okay, so it's done installing. So now, um, the next thing we need to do is to edit our Cypress your JSON file by adding some lines of code. So um, not to take our time, I have them here already. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Let me remove this. Yeah. So. You can see here, this is the base URL. 
um, I've set a default command timeout, a paid load timeout, um, what the height and the width of the screen should look like, and my reporter. Other things can come in here, but for this training purpose or for this project, these are just the things we need. So, um, we made mention of um, running Konga test, so um, I'll just change this to Konga.com. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is to open our package or JSON file and also add some um, commands to it. So um, example is uh, um, the scripts. I can add these lines of code to my scripts. But don't worry, I'm going to zip this. Um, I'm going to zip this project for us and share so you can also check from your hand. Then um, my dev dependencies, um, I'm going to include that as well. This already exists. There should be a comma. Cool. So I'm done with package or JSON file. And then, um, yeah. So now the next thing I want to do is to. Um, okay, so before I go for further. Um, there are two important files that we're going to need them going forward. Um, one is our selector.js file, and the other one is our um, test case file, which can stand as our test script. Um, is anybody saying? Okay. Okay, so um, we can proceed. <clears throat> so um, for for your test scripts, I always make sure you have them inside your integration folder. You, you notice when we installed Cypress, some um, sample or example script came with it, which were inside the integration folder. So for um, going forward, um, what I'm going to do next is to create a new folder. So um, don't don't get too confused with there, there are different approach you can adapt, but the idea behind having a framework is how best you can organize your, your project. So you can decide to just add your files straight inside the integration folder. But um, in my own case, I would like to create separate folder for separate purposes or for separate test or separate future. So for example, let's say I want to run a sanity test, uh, and I create a new folder called sanity sanity test. Now, inside this folder, I'm going to add my selector and my test scripts. So what do I do? 
right click on on um, I right click on sanity test folder. This time around, I'm adding a file, so I click on new file and I give it the name, say selector dot js. Then um, the next file I'm going to have, which is for my test scripts, I'll right click on sanity test folder. I'll add another new file. And this time around, I'll name it sanity test dot js. Cool. So I've created the sanity folder. Um, let's say there's another application or another feature that I want to test. Um, I'll create a new folder for it. Say, uh, um, 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 um. okay, let's say end to hand. This one is end to hand test. Then inside it, I'll have my selector and my end to hand file. So I'll have a new file called selector dot js. Cool. But we're working on the sanity test folder, so our focus will be on it. Now, for those of us that are new to automation, so there are different types of selector. Um, so what selector does is, um, before your script can interact with your browser, it needs to um, or before your script can can function uh, can work on a browser, it needs to interact with selector. So for every for every text, for every images you see on on your website, they all have different type of um, um, selector. So um, example of a selector is um, CSS. We have ID. We have class. Uh, which one do we have again? We have um, link, um, we have the tag attributes and the likes. But on Cypress, Cypress only uses CSS selector. But if you are using um, other automated automation tools like Selenium, you can switch between uh, different selector type. You can use just an ID or just a class or just a CSS or just an expert. But for on Cypress, Cypress uses CSS. And the good thing about Cypress CSS is that it can link different selectors together, like combine a CSS and an ID, or an expert and a, uh, a class name together to get a CSS selector. Um, we're going to get to that, yeah? So um, moving forward, uh, so, um, the next thing we need to do is now to start writing our lines of code on our test scripts using the sanity test.js file. So the first thing um, we want to do is to import. I want to import the selector file inside my sanity test.js. Reason that uh, the locators are being stored here, but my test script needs to go fetch locators from um, the selector .js file. So I'm going to use the import command, uh, open curly braces, then um, from. So where am I getting this from? Um, from my selector file. Cool. So um, that's one. Then um, back to the selector .js file. Remember, I told you that um, this is where we store our locators. So um, the way I also like to arrange my locators, I like to group locators by either functionalities or by page. So let's say for the home page, I want to export a locator. So I'll do export uh, constant. Then I give it home page equals yeah, so on the home page, um, what are the things I want to inspect? Um, of course, 
Um, let's go to conga.com. Okay, so let's say I want to log in on conga.com. Um, on the home page, I'm clicking on this. And when I click on this, it brings me here to the login page. So I want to have two different um, exports into different um, locators or page to get my locators. So let me go back to my script. So I've done for home page, then I'll do for exports. Again, um, it all depends on how you want to arrange your home. Some can just decide to have just something like this selector, constant selectors. Selectors is just a name, you can give it any name. And what do they do here? Um, did I miss any spelling? Oh, sorry, this is no respect. Yeah, so they can decide to just have one export constant variable and include all their locators inside. But that will be too cumbersome and too. Um, you, won't be, you, you might find it difficult to navigate through selector. So it's better you break it down. So let's say I want to do for home page two. I'll be the home, the login rather. Login equals. Yep. All right. So. Um, on the home page, I have this guy that I want to locate, login, sign up. So I'll come here and I'll just do login, sign up, button. Yep. So I'm good with that. Then on, um, on the login itself, which is here, I'm going to inspect email, password, and finally click on login button. So I'm inspecting three things, email, password, and login button. So I'll come here. I'll do for email field. Uh, then comma, I'll do for password field. Comma, then I'll do for login button. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've, I'm done with this. Now, um, remember in our sanity test, I said we, I need to import my selectors. I need to import from my selectors. Now you can have, so what are you importing? Those are these constant variables you are seeing here, or objects. So this home page, this selector, this login, these are the things we are importing inside our scripts. So mind you, you can have, you can have like hundreds of, or thousands of different um, objects. Let's say this one is two, this one is three, this one is four. The only thing you are making, you are importing are the scripts that you need, are, are the locators you need for your scripts. So in this case, all I need is just home page and login. So I go back to my sanity test and I import it here. And um, advice, I advise you not to type. Always copy and paste because all these things are case sensitive. And when you make a type error, you can spend the whole day looking for where you made the mistake. So I've imported home. Then the next one I want to import is, um, which I'll be needing is login. So I come back here and I put login. So that's been sorted. We've successfully imported um, uh, a sanity test selector.js file. So now the next thing we want to do is to start writing our scripts. So in Mocha, there's all we call describe. There's all we call before. So these are annotations in Selenium before each and each. So describe, what describe does is just like a description of what you want to do. Why before each is an instruction 
telling your script that before every eat, uh, before every eat, um, you should execute X, Y, Z um, command. Why it is where you run your tests itself. So all those verify users can log in, verify users can sign up, all those tests comes under it. So I'm going to break this down into code for us. So the first thing I'll have here is describe. Then open my brackets and uh, my code. So what am I trying to describe? Um, I want to run conga uh, login tests. Then comma function. So um, inside this um, describe, then I'm going to have my before each annotation and also my each annotation. So next I'll do before each for each function. Presenter cy dot visit. Send this one back. Cy dot visit. So what the cy dot visit does? It it goes to my URL inside my Cypress or JSON files. So it picks the base URL and visit it on your browser. So the next is my each function. So the first each is um, so we normally start with it. We should so each open brackets. So instead of saying verify users cannot log in with invalid email and password, I'll just say uh, it should. Sorry, your quotes first should not be able to log in with invalid email and password. So, yeah, then um, I include my function as well. Then I do another it. Um, for the sake of time, let me just copy and paste. So, but this time around, it should be able to log in with a valid, with a valid email and password. Yep. Now, so um, what do I want to do next? Um, let me save my, I think it saves automatically, but I'm not sure. So let me do MPX Cypress open to open my Cypress and just try to launch the script. So yeah, so this is my sanity test code. Um, this is my sanity test script. When I click on it, it should launch my browser. Oh. Yeah, it's always good to have errors. <laughs> you can't escape it, it's normal. Okay, so it shouldn't be the same. All right, so um, all right, so let me include um, 
Let me include like a test steps to, to our scripts. So um, the first thing we want to do is, um, so when we want to test for invalid uh, login, um, the steps is to first click here, that's step one. Enter email and email, that's step two. Enter password step three, and finally click on login, which is step four. So I come back and I do um, CY. Can you guys still see my screen? Yes. My side press code. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, so let's continue. So I'm going to have four steps here. Uh, one is cy.get, and um, uh, what am I trying to get? So I want to get, where's my selector? Yeah, so I want to click on this login sign up button. So I'll come and do, Um, where's my code? Yeah, so cy.get. Since I'm importing from my selector, sorry, from my home page, so I'll just do cy.get home page dot. So this is it here. Sometimes you don't need to type, just click on what it uh, or shows you. Then finally, dot click. So what this does is, you know, remember I imported um, the objects that I'm going to be making use of, which is home page and login. So the way it works is by the time he wants to run this test, uh, it goes to this selector folder, then checks for home page, which I've also referenced there, and look for this login sign up button inside the home page. So it comes here check for this guy and look for this. So whatever we pass here is what our script is going to interact with um, on the browser. So I'm still going to show us how to inspect those elements and add it to, to our selector just there as well. So um, that's, so our next um, action is to, is to type, uh, is to type our email password. So that brings us to cy.get then, um, so this time around, remember that my email field is inside the login, um, inside login. So for this reason, I'm going to use login instead, not on page anymore. So login dot email field, then dot type. So um, I forgot to add here. So we also need to include our email text. Let's say if you go for real at yahoo.com comma. We also need to include our password text. Um, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So back to my selectors. Um, so I'll do uh, yeah, dot type, bracket open. Then what am I typing? Login dot email text. So I'll do the same for password. CY dot get login dot password field dot type. And um, login dot password text. And the final thing we are doing is to click on login button. So um, login dot login button. So we have four steps here to 
test for um, invalid email. Try and run and see what happens this time around. Cool. So, sorry, we couldn't load from that platform. Okay. Let me use So it's possible. Why is Konga not loading? Eh? Oh, oh. I think I've seen my. Okay. Um. Maybe we should try another site if. Guys, giving us issues. Mm. Let me look for Indigo. Or let me say junior.com. Thank you. Came from there. I guess it's them. Okay, Junior Wolf, let me try Konga again and see if it's going to work. I hope you are still with me. Yes. Oh. Okay. I think Konga is working now. <clears throat> so.
So yeah, so this brings us to how to inspect your elements. It's going to definitely fail because we've not inspected our elements. Um, let me just stop. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so remember on our script, we have um, four steps. Uh, one is to click on the login button, then enter email, password, and login button. So we need to get the selectors for all these steps. So to do that, you click on this open selector button, then hover to where you want to inspect. So the first thing you want to inspect is this login sign up. So click on it. It shows you the selector here. Just copy the selector. Go to your Cypress selector file and paste it inside. Then we do the same for um, login sign up. So if you want to interact back with your browser, you need to click on this, then click on the action. Go back here, <clears throat> click on the expect button, then expect whatever I want to expect. So here is just username. I copy it. Um, so that's for the email. Then I do for the password too. I copy it. Password field and finally the login button. Mm, what's going on here? So finally the login button, which is this. Then I copy it <clears throat> and I put it inside my code. So right now we've inspected all our elements and um, we can now rerun uh, the test. So let me save this. Um, see. So you can see that the first test passed, and um, for the second one, we don't have any scripts, uh, which we could just add something. So if I go back to my sanity GS file, I can just copy all this. So, um, yeah. So, um, So what I can just do in my selector file is to it's an email text or a password text that is invalid. So I can call this one invalid password text. And um, give it its own password. So um, for but this will now be invalid. Why this one be valid? So if I refresh, if I save and come back here, it's going to run the two tests. So I'm sure this is clear to everyone. Um, so your first tax, which I'm expecting a submission tomorrow late test, is to go do the same for Jumia. So um, go to Jumia and um, so you're going to have three tests. Um, one is for so inside your hits, you are going to have three hits. The first one is for invalid login. The second one is for valid login. Why the third one? It be for search. So it should be able to search. It should be able to search for a product. Any question before 
to end the session. Michael Raji Shola Busola S. A. Pilo, are you guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, do you understand the take home tax? So I'm, I'm very keen and serious on this tax mm -hmm. because I've, I've given out um, almost more than half of my time and I expect you to also take this serious, attempt the tax, submit it tomorrow. So what you, you are to do, so to help you, I'm still going to share um, the step-by-step -step file with you and also I think, um, the recorded video of this so you can rewatch and be able to do your own tax. So the tax is, instead of we having Kongia, you are going to run for jumia.com.ng. I are going to perform all these steps, invalid login, valid login, and search for a product. If you have questions, challenges, drop it on the chat group or either on Teams or WhatsApp, anyone works. So I believe there are no further questions. None from my side. All right. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. See you on Teams and WhatsApp. And please attempt the tax. Yeah, bye. <laughs>